经差不多了，那就谢谢大家，就是今天参与我们就是 Grenade 音乐会的台湾的第一天的那个 session。那呃，接下来的呃演讲呢是呃红影会呃带给大家就是我完整的介绍。Oh, in our upcoming session, we are privileged to have Mr. Hong Yi, uh, who will show us how to use Scotland, which is a powerful run-hand sandbox in our native world. Uh, let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Hong Yi. Uh, hello, everyone. And I'm Hong Yi Dai. And you can call me Hai Dai, you know, the, the seaweed is, is my nickname. And today I'm happy here to share uh, how to build and manage Watson application use container tools at Coast Cup 2023. And if you want to get this slide, I already share on the uh, HackMD and you can scan the QR code or just type the link here. And because, you know, uh, I'm afraid there may be some issue that uh, my English will be not very fluent. So I just have a, a recording in English uh, yesterday. So you can click the YouTube link to uh, get my uh, pre-record uh, for this talk. And today's agenda, I will share uh, why is Watson, okay? And how Watson application works in container. And to let container to uh, co-work with the Watson, we will have two different solutions. One is use Serum and another is use Run Wasi. So we will have two uh, different uh, plugins to use it. And then we will cover several demos for you. So you will know how to create a Watson image, how to publish them, execute them. Even you can use Stack Compose to connect the uh, existing database or web, uh, web front end uh, with your Watson application. Then I will have a very short you know, sharing about how we integrate with the Kubernetes. So first thing is, what is Watson? Uh, Watson is uh, composed of two terms, which is the web and assembly. So web is because this uh, binary format is designed uh, to execute some application in your browser. This is the original design. However, uh, time changes. So uh, now this binary format is already used in the server side. So you can execute the Watson format on uh, maybe on your server, on your computer, and everywhere. You don't have you don't have to uh, execute it in the browser. And the assembly means the assembly. Yeah, just like the ARM assembly, the X64 uh, assembly, that's that. So why is the pros? And first of all, it, it, it's very secure by default because in the original design, this binary format is executing in browser. And browser is the same box. OK, so uh, every instruction, every Watson instruction will execute in the same box. And it's very portable. Uh, for example, you can use several modern programming languages, such as C, C++, Rust and Golang, uh, of course, Dig, and lots of different languages to compile those language application into Watson format. And it's completely portable cross platform. Uh, if you are trying to uh, build your Docker image or your container image, you will have to specify the platform. For example, you want to execute it on the uh, Linux AMD uh, 64 or Linux ARM 64. However, if you are want to build a, a Watson container, the only platform is the Watson slash Watson. And because the container only contains the Watson application, so the image size is very, very small. Uh, 
let's say if you want to you know create a very simple uh, HTTP server, it may be uh, less than uh, a megabytes. And it has a fast start time and near native front high performance. Anyway, so how to compile it into Watson? Actually, almost all of the programming languages are the same. Uh, you will have several languages and you will compile into IR. For example, if you use C or C++ uh, with the clan compiler, you will compile these languages into LLV and IR, then compile into the, the Watson. And you don't have need to worry about how Watson is queued on your environment because uh, this one, the Watson runtime will take care of it. Just like you have a Java application, you compile a Java application into the Java bytecode. Then the JVM will execute it. You don't need to worry about uh, which platform is executed. So we just say that everything in Watson is in the sandbox. But we all know if we want to rewrite file, we want to open a socket, we want to do the uh, uh, EPUL or anything. Actually, you have to rely on the system code. So uh, the Watson has defined an interface we call WASI, the WebAssembly System Interface. It's just like the POSIS API. So uh, everything you read in C, you have to rewrite it in the same way. Okay. But why is still secure? Because you have to tell the runtime which permission you want to do. For example, if you want to open a file in the current folder, you have to tell runtime, hey, please mapping this current folder into the runtime space. If you are not doing this, you don't have the permission to read and write it. Okay, so this is the basic uh, uh, advantage of the Watson format, why we need that. Okay, and the issue is that we are not use Watson to replace the current container. We want to do one thing is we want to work the, with the current application with the new Watson application. And I have a previous talk at the SDN Cross Cloud Native Meetup two years ago. And at that time, I present a project called the C Run W, which is the C Run plus Run W, for the Run Container plus the Run Watson. Okay, and we got a feedback from the audience. Audience says, "Hey, please do not add more new runtime class because you add a new one, I will need to handle one more. It will, you know, make my job very complicated." But uh, two years later, we already contributed um, back to upstream. So now C Run has the Watson handler. And Docker already integrates our runtime. So uh, you can see we will have two new runtime, which is the container D string, Watson Edge V1, and container string, uh, Watson Type V1. So now we, we already have more and more new runtime class. So if you are any, you know, if you're interested in Watson and you are favor in uh, any Watson runtime, you can always submit the PR to add a new runtime class here. Yeah, let's make this world more complicated. So next one, we will talk about how it works. Okay, so this is a, you know, a very general concept and Docker or container D or anything, it will execute. Actually, the uh, it will execute with the container D string, and it will start the run C or C run, and then start your normal container. Okay, this is the normal way. If you are running a uh, nginx or the PHP or any database uh, container image, however, if you are trying to run the image with the platform was this slash Watson it will try to dispatch the workload to this one, which is called the container edition, Watson Edge or Watson Time V1. And the name of the Watson Edge and Watson Time actually is to, uh, okay. So actually it's two different runtime. So you can see here, 
if you are using this one, it will trigger the WhatsApp Edge to start the, the WhatsApp application. And also, if you are use this one, it will start the WhatsApp time. So you have different choice. Okay, this depends on your usage and uh, which one is your favorite. Then, uh, this one is just, you know, separate the previous uh, graph into two because we will have a uh, uh, different way to work with it, which is that um, because there are several OCR runtime, the container string is one way. Another way is use C run. However, the C run way is different from the uh, container string is because the C run will handle all of the workload, which means whatever uh, is a normal container or is a Watson container, it will always dispatch to C run, and C run will identify the platform and decide it will uh, dispatch this workload into the C run handler or into the uh, Watson handler. Your Siri is too sensitive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the uh, two projects. Uh, first one is RunWasi, which is the uh, darker desktop way to integrate the Watson runtime. And you can just click here. And this is a very alpha project. So if you are interested, please send any contribution here. We are very happy to have it. And the best idea is that uh, because this is implemented in the uh, Cardano string interface, so you can use CTR, just interact with that, or just use it like the CRI plugin with your uh, Kubernetes cluster. Okay, and uh, please notice that this project is a, a POC project and is in a very active um, development. So. Uh, if you want to use it in the production environment, just think about it. Yeah, you can try it, but time will see, okay? So this is the first one. And now it integrates the Watson Edge and Watson High, two different uh, runtime. Mm -hmm. And the other one is the C run, which, which is, I said, we already upstream our contribution to here, this project. and. C run is, you know, uh, it's just a OCI container runtime. And if you are interested to add more, uh, add a more uh, Watson runtime, you can go to the source folder and lib C run, which will have uh, handlers, and just put any handler here. For example, this is the Watson Edge, the Watson Mer, and Watson High. Okay, so you have. Uh, one more choice. And what is the difference between C run and Run RC is that because C run will take off all of the uh, workload first. So, for example, the uh, resource control, the settings, and almost everything is uh, except the was an execution uh, will handled by C run. So, this is great. Then let's go to our demos. And the easiest way to have the environment is just install the Docker desktop. It already set up everything for you. But if you are trying to use the latest version, you will uh, you may have some issue because uh, some workload will not work. You have to go back to the previous release, which is the 4.20.1. This one I already have this link. And after install it, you have to uh, enable a beta feature. So let me show you. Oh, if you are install the Docker desktop, you will have this uh, screen and click settings, features in development, and please check this one. Uh, use container D for pre-ordered and stored in image. Uh, I have no idea, but you know, he just put the Watson workload in this type, this type. So please make sure, check it, and apply and restart. 
then you will have the uh, wasn't enabled Docker. Okay. So the first demo is how to create a hello world uh, with Rust language and uh, just uh, pack it into the Watson container images. So you can click into this repository and the hello. Okay. So let's check the doc file first. Um, I believe everyone sits here can understand the format of the Docker file, right? So I don't have to uh, explain the format, right? So it will contain two parts. The first part is we have to uh, set up the environment to build the Watson application in, uh, sorry, to build the Rust application into Watson application. So we will use the Rust latest as our build base, and you will have to add the target of Watson 32-WASC. This is the uh, most important backend to enable the feature. And then uh, we just copy file and build. This is the core content of your Watson image. You will find Scratch here. Actually, it's almost empty. All you need to do is to put your application, uh, copy from any uh, location, and put it under your, you know, your uh, specific pass and this is the you know the default arguments you want to put here. So if we uh, build and execute this image, we will get uh, we will print the you know the hello from one image or something uh, to your screen. So the application is pretty simple. You know we just print one line. Okay. Now let's. Go back to the terminal and hello first. So we will use the Docker build X build, and you have to specify the platform with, uh, is that clear? Or I need to, sorry. Docker build X, hello, okay. And you will uh, start to build, and you will have this image here, the uh, what's the image demo? Hello. So currently, uh, is installed the dependency of the uh, Rust, and you will test some time. So if the Wi-Fi is not very well, and you are use your <laughs> cell phone, please do not do it now. <laughs> you will test some time to download the file. Okay, so. It really takes some time, so let's just kill it, and you start a run instead. Okay, I, I already built it, and I already published it to the Dark Hub. So uh, let's just execute it, and you will print the string just from the application, right? And this is the uh, first example. Oh, please. Uh, if you have an error when building the Docker image, please add this line to uh, disable the default assertion. Uh, I have no idea, but uh, this error will not occur in the 4.19 version. However, in the 4.20 version, uh, it will, you will need this work workaround to fix the issue. Okay, so this is the first one. And oh, if you want to publish it, it's pretty simple. Just like use uh, build and that's just push. You know, you just build your image and just publish to the Dark Hub. That's all. And the second one is that we want to show the uh, Capability, how to you know leverage the system code in a Watson program, because you know if you are not interact with the system code, then uh, no real world application can use in this container. So let's check the second example, which will do several things that we usually do in in our normal life. We will try to generate a random number from the system code. 
you will have a random gem, random get, sorry. And actually, you want to print something to your screen, it's al already a system call. Because you have to use the uh, file descriptor write to write your string into the standard output. And then we will try to you know, retrieve the uh, environment variables and print it, and create a file, and print the file, and delete the file. So everything related to the file system uh, is still need the system code. OK, so this example is pretty simple. And if you are not familiar with the Rust language, you know you can rewrite this program with C or C++ or Golang or uh, any C language already support Watson. Just rewrite that and compile it to the Watson format, and then just put the file into the Docker file. Then it's done. Okay. So let's try to run the second demo, the simple Watson. And the simple was, you can see here, we generate a random number and lots of random bytes. And we will uh, print something and get your uh, environment variables. And this is the arguments from the uh, default arguments. So if you uh, want to, you know, to add anything, for example, the cost cover 2023 here, and you can see the argument is already passed into uh, this application. Okay, so that you can always try it. Then the third one is that uh, original, you know, the Watson don't support socket. However, if your application doesn't support socket, uh, how you create the server, how you create the database connector. So actually, uh, the different runtime have its own extension to add this uh, system code into your runtime. So in this way, we have uh, created a very, very simple HTTP server. Uh, you don't have to read the code because this is a, a, a echo server. Uh, the, the function it does is, you know, it's just ret retrieve a string and echo the string back to you. That's all. So let's see uh, Docker run. Uh, I think we may, may need to map the port one two three four to one two three four here. So you can find this server is star, and we can use curl to uh, put some string into this Watson application. And please notice that uh, you can use Unicode. So it's it supports several. Uh, encoding, for example, the ASCII or the Unicode is all support. So you don't have to worry about that. And let's go in a uh, more complicated example here is we want to use Watson as the HTTP server to, to handle the business logic. And then we want to store those data into database. Okay. So let's go to this, sorry, this, this demo here. And this is demo is also my uh, tutorial in the uh, KubeCon EU this year. So we use this example to show how to deploy the uh, a very simple, you know, microservice with Watson and in your uh, Kubernetes cluster. So uh, let's go to the Docker Compose. You can see the logic. So we will have three different services. The first one is the Nginx. You know, is this, oh sorry, because I, I have not started a server, so you can not see anything. But the first one is we want to serve a, a web front end, so you can use a web front end to interact with your application. Then we will have the real server here uh, is uh, developed by the Watson, and it will always build from the uh, current folder. And uh, actually, I don't, I do not, you know, encourage everybody to uh, put your real password in the Docker file. However, this is a demo. Please make sure this is a demo. 
do not do this on your production server, okay? And we will need to specify the runtime, the platform to uh, execute um, this, you know, this business logic application, and we will start uh, MariaDB as our database store. So this is pretty simple. All you need to do is go here and Docker compose. You just clone this project and Docker compose up. Okay, so you can see the last of log, the database is up. And after that, we back to this website. You can see, uh, you can put the orders here. For example, let's put the first order. Uh, KCD. Um, we will have KCD here, and we can put the second order. Uh, course cop 2023 okay and actually this is just a web front end you know all of the data is stored in the database and all you need to do is to connect the HTTP server and the uh, database connector in your Watson application so you can do several complicated things in the Watson not only you know just print some string you know, that's not real world application. However, if you, you can do this one. And actually, if you are interested, we use Watson to connect with the GPT, so we can do the, uh, you know, the PR review with Watson container. Yeah, so you can image that, you can do lots of different things with Watson, not just only, you know, very simple demo. And you can delete it, okay? So let's, the the uh, false example to show how Watson work mm -hmm. with the normal containers. And, oh, talk to the, you know, the Kubernetes integration. I have to say, you can have <sighs> lots of different solution. Let's see. Actually, there is only a very few roles. You have KBIS. Uh, you work with Kubernetes, you have the CIO, you have container D. So you have only three roles. However, after the combination, you will have more and more different choices. And this is just use the Kubernetes. However, you know, somebody talked to us, hey, why not add the K3S to your demo? When I add more and more K blah, 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 in your demo, and then you can find it like, it's similar to, to a big matrix. So um, we are not doing that because, you know, that's too, uh, too hard to, to maintain it. However, uh, if you're interested, uh, let me explain how it works. The basic idea is you can go to this repository and we use the uh, GitHub action to, you know, do this uh, testing. Because you know, er every time we up update, it will work, always. Because you know, the Kubernetes may not compatible with a specific version of some component, and blah blah blah, blah you know, such such things. So we have to you know write a, a CI to to cover that to make sure that the latest version is working. Okay, and if you're interested, you can click into. Uh, anyone to see uh, what it's doing. And basically we are, for example, if you are seeing the test is trying to uh, print a simple WASI example. And you can see the HTTP server is just the example I just showed, the simple HTTP server. Okay. And the idea is that we just replace the, uh, let's go to the container D and the container D configuration. Actually, we just replace the run C with C run. And this C run is the uh, Watson feature uh, enable the C run. And that's all. All you need to do is to change the default runtime. And then you, you, your cluster can run the Watson, Watson application. You know, that's, that's very cool. And uh, yeah. Be However, this is the only way because, because you know, C run is fully compatible with run C. Yeah, so, so you can do this way. However, if you are using the wrong WASI, you know, another uh, container string I just mentioned before, uh, I have no idea how to enable it. Um, 
in this uh, Kubernetes cluster. So if you want to try it in your local cluster, you can you know just uh, apply this patch and everything will work. Also, if you have a, a EKS server on AWS, and you can try this one. You can try K Watson. K Watson will you know. Because you, if you want to set up the environment, include the Kubernetes, include the containerd, include the C run, you may uh, take too much time to do that. So you can use KWASN to simplify the staff. Okay. So let's uh, what we have about the uh, Kubernetes. So this my last slide, and we participated in the LLFX mentorship this year, and we will have four projects. If you are interested, you can apply online to contribute your work to the Watson Edge project. So that's all I have. Thank you. <笑>很好啊<笑>我要下一个讲者<笑><笑>